ago, we talked about the nationwide death toll. These are four of the more than 15,000 people who have lost their lives to coronavirus here in Massachusetts. WBZ's Bill Shields spoke with some of their families today about the pain that does not fade. Despite the best efforts of the country's doctors and nurses, 500,000 people have now died from COVID. But they're much more than numbers. They represented humanity. This year, 2021, would have been 63 years for them. Bob and Mickey Sullivan were married 63 years ago, but recently, Mickey developed dementia. Then the family found Belmont Manor. One of the godsends in our lives was Belmont Manor for my mother. They were just all amazing there. When COVID came for Mickey, the nurses at Belmont Manor arranged a video session in her last hours. We saw her moments before she passed. Mickey and Bob always held hands, always. A few months after Mickey died, Bob died. Broken heart syndrome, they said. And the DeFosses family of Norton, their hearts are also forever damaged. To be an eight or an 11 year old girl without their dad. Detective Sergeant Steve DeFosses of the Norton Police Department was a strong respected cop but COVID came for him too his widow now asks for people not to relax with this virus if one person will think of our story and think twice if we can prevent one other family from being in our position um then i'm glad to have shared my story Five hundred thousand people think about it that would fill up gillette stadium seven times over and every one of them had a story to tell. I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.